Kyle Busch emerged from the number eight Toyota for the last time in his 15-year tenure and made a point to hug each crew member of his Joe Gibbs racing team. There were smiles, memories, but also a quiver in his voice after what was already scheduled to be a bittersweet day for the departing veteran at Phoenix Raceway had become that much more emotional. Bush talked fondly about the end of his accomplished career with JGR after placing seventh in Sunday's NASCAR Cup Series season finale. That result made him the top finishing driver for the organization, but the heartfelt feelings ran far deeper after the news that Coy Gibbs, a foundational member of the family team, had died overnight at age 49. Bush navigated the flood of emotions by letting the rush of race day take over. Probably just the adrenaline, the focus and all that stuff, Bush said. Once you put a helmet on, you know you've got enough stuff going on that you're worried about everything else. So, you know, no different than anything. Of all the rivals I've tried through this year, today was obviously the worst of it all, and the hardest of it all. Just gave it everything I had, and that's all we had. So wish it could have been better, wish it could have been a top five, you know, top three. Run a little bit better, but I'll take the satisfaction in the top Gibbs car. Bush will open the next chapter in his racing career next season with Richard Childress Racing, a destination that the 37-year-old driver reached after a prolonged and public contract negotiation period with the Gibbs team. The loss of longtime sponsor M&M's and Mars at the end of the year also prompted the shift. But Bush was thorough in expressing his gratitude to both partners, and his number 18 provided a colorful mosaic tribute in its paint scheme. Seeing it on the grid for Sunday's season ender brought home the finality of it. I couldn't even look at my car to begin with, Bush said, because it was the last time I'm going to see it. Bush got the more difficult news after making the last of his hospitable rounds Sunday morning as he worked his way back to the motor coach lot where teammate Denny Hamlin and representatives with Toyota had just gotten word of Coy Gibbs' passing. He was a lot like me, Bush said. He didn't take any bull, and told everybody the way it was, and straight to their face, you know? So, loved Coy for that, and for his tenacity. He took on a huge role in filling the shoes of his brother, and maybe a little bit more on the competition side than the business side in that respect. But he's done nothing but try to push us all to go forward, and to win races, and be competitive, and to be strong and all that. And so, honestly, that's what I'll remember most about him. Bush shared an embrace with JGR team president Dave Alpern, senior VP Jimmy McCarr, and Victoria B. Mars, the former chairwoman of the candy company, on Pitt Road after the race. McCarr, one of the organization's first hires, was among the first well-wishers outside of his pit crew to thank Bush, not just for his two Cup Series championships and the multitude of wins, but for rejuvenating a number 18 team that had gone winless for four consecutive seasons before Bush's arrival. Bush also thanked longtime crew chief Adam Stevens, who was atop the pit box for his two Cup Series titles in 2015 and 2019. Stevens shifted to working with driver Christopher Bell ahead of the 2021 season and helped guide him to the championship four round this year, where he wound up third of the quartet behind second-time title winner Joey Logano. Bush warmly recalled their partnership by saying, We were Jimmy and Chad, a nod to the legendary Jimmy Johnson and Chad Nouse pairing that produced a record-tying seven championships. For Stevens, his memory centered on his appreciation for helping him seize an opportunity at the Cup Series level. Bush finished his rounds and media interviews and headed back to the number 18 hauler for one last time. After changing out his bright yellow fire suit, he hugged more members of his team before hopping onto a waiting golf cart with older brother Kurt to leave the track. Kyle Busch had already described the emotions as gut-wrenching in a social media post in a tribute to Coy Gibbs and an acknowledgement of his departure. As the engines had started to cool on the Phoenix pit road, Bush's growing sense of closure had caused his voice to crack as he reflected on the JGR era. What's your thoughts on all that? Please let us know in the comments. That's all for today. Bye.